I will keep adjusting this fur because uh, I'm naked <laughs> and it's not porn hub but it's just like I did a tattoo uh, basically a few days ago and uh, it's just annoying to wear clothes. Y'all who did tattoos in the past know what is it like. <laughs> I feel like my tendency with like getting tattoos of all is that where there is something happening in my life and just like some changes or whatever. <laughs> It's kind of like my first two tattoos I got when I moved out of, from Poland. This one I got when I turned around my life in Paris pretty much. And now it's kind of like we're leaving the quarantine, which is like kind of a big deal. It was like two months of just having you to yourself and just like your thoughts and just like locked up in your apartment, just like, you know, thinking about life and stuff like that. It seems like kind of everyone in the world needed that for just a weird purposes like you know people are dying left and right but like people overall needed a little break from reality <laughs> i wanted to hop on to just like kind of do some update i cannot do that uh, every once in a while when either there's something happening or i just feel like talking because it's kind of like how i treat my channel and people that are su subscribed it's kind of like my internet family that I want to, can do whatever I want here and just like it's a mutual connection that I have here but first of all I kind of want to hear from you how did you pass your quarantine it's kind of like you know people were having different experiences some had to work while in quarantine some had to stay at home doing nothing at all some worked from home but every single person kind of like experienced that in their own way and it's kind of like when I was talking to people now because France actually l left the quarantine one week ago people had different perspectives on how it actually went <laughs> so I'd love you to write to me like in the comments or whatever how was it and just like what were your experiences with that <laughs> if we're talking about me um, physically I was fine because it's kind of like I was eating well I was exercising like it was great mentally I mean we know I'm a psychotic bitch so like of course I went well <laughs> with that the problem comes with I guess emotional part um, some of you know that uh, before quarantine I went into a relationship with someone but uh, I feel like I was ghosted for some reason <laughs> um, and it's very weird when you ghost someone that you've been in the past three months so there's that <laughs> but it's kind of like I did not realize how much I would learn about myself you know there's also this saying that experiences make your you know life better and just like relationships as well I would never thought of some things that I actually experienced and how what I discovered about like myself my personality kinda so it's definitely that I don't know I treated that I was ghosted but at the same time I don't say that it was like a wasted time because there's not really a point in your life that is wasted like you know from everything in your life kind of like you can gather some thoughts and just like make your life better onward by those experiences doesn't really matter what it is so it's pretty much that i'm like over now it's just that i'm slowly returning to my own like my old mindset that i had before i got myself into that so it's gonna be fine moving forward like i said france already left the quarantine so like pretty much everything's like open now starting from tomorrow monday i'm actually returning to work again so you know the whole uh, uploading uh, daily and stuff like that you know it's gonna change as well just how it was before and in the beginning of course it's gonna be a little bit rough because coming back to work from the quarantine when where i did not really do anything i mean i did but uh, it's kind of like your routine was broke down that you have to rebuild your kind of like schedule right 
So it's just gonna take a while, but it's it's fu it's fine. And like, I'm not gonna be going anywhere from this channel because this channel is like my home. Like no matter kind of what, and as well home for you. I mean, it's kind of like how I want to create this space, right? Funny thing is that uh, I was uh, hanging around in old space and like a big screen, just like, you know, social applications uh, on my headset when I was in quarantine. And I've met quite a few pe people actually who recognized me and, uh, you know, we've been spending a good time just like socializing and just talking shit, right? <laughs> and I've never like thought that it's like gonna go that way, kinda. I know that I'm like naturally easy to talk to because like I'm really open to whatever <laughs> and people kinda like vibe off to that. So I had a really good time, like, you know, in VR, in the quarantine, for sure. Like, I felt so lucky that I had uh, my headset because I feel like the demand was so high and there were so many people uh, in the virtual reality because that was kind of like a way to escape the quarantine, right? That's kind of like what I said before and what actually happened. People were searching for connections overall. So like concerning VR, I feel like it did a good job. I could assume that Facebook would release Horizon, that I feel like that would be like the best time now, it's kinda like, I don't know when, when it will release, I think in the summer, but yeah, it was just like a small opportunity I guess. Facebook don't maybe don't really care because it's just a so, so big platform that whatever they do, they succeed anyways. <laughs> Concerning like, you know, playthroughs and stuff like that, that I still have Alex going on. I don't know for how long. <laughs> it's kind of like nowadays I put out more quest content than Link because I know that's kind of what people want. And essentially how Oculus handles like updates and their future. I'm really interested uh, to see what's gonna happen in uh, Oculus Connect 7. You know, like the online edition this year. Because there are some things like in the works that are kind of like, you know, preparing for a new headset even like some weird kind of currents in the VR world like some weird tactic tactics I was also thinking about you know kind of doing a live stream also of that because uh, I started my VR journey by watching a live stream of OC5 I think it was there so that would be also a good throwback for me that uh, I would do like complete 360 is it the term? I, whatever. <laughs> I'm not really experienced it, experienced in live streams, but I mean, I will work anything if I want to. So, if you would be interested in something like that, just let me know, and uh, we'll see. All in all, uh, quarantine pretty much finishes in the next the next weeks, like gradually in the other countries. So you know, it seems like VR is like put on hold but it's like progressing behind the scenes just be know of that <laughs> well anyways the, just like you know i'm gonna do videos uh, in my own uh, kind of rhythm and uh, we'll see how it goes but like i'm not going anywhere so <laughs> and also like thank you for 250 i think su subscribers like you know just as always i say i'm like privileged that even one person watches uh, my videos so for me it is like a huge privilege that i what i put out even in the format that i do kind of not really watchable <laughs> people kind of no matter what enjoy and uh, i'm just grateful and i will always be grateful with that so yeah i feel like we have one release on thursday it's gonna be i think space uh, space something it's very similar to bridge crew flashbacks also if you meet me in vr in the future just don't be hesitant to talk to me because you can and like i'm not like a demigod or something i'm just like a normal person just like everybody else so yeah see you soon <laughs>